With this kind of money, you can get a lot of keyboards with lighting on them, but do you really need it? Most basic premium keyboards are here with this price point. But does it have this level of prestige? I'm Rio Gian and welcome to the channel. Piano black is your worst enemy if you want to keep something clean. This is why the moment when you see this keyboard, you could say, I give up. Or you can make it a personal challenge and try to keep the keyboard clean. It's up to you. Personally, I would choose the former and show pride on how dirty and messy the keyboard is. Most of my videos, the easiest way to tell if a keyboard is actually mine is the condition of the keyboard. If it looks brand spanking new, there's a chance you probably don't see anymore after my usual series of videos covering the keyboard. Anyways, this isn't the keyboard that someone would buy because they want good value. This is the keyboard they would buy if they value the typing experience. Like the back of the box said, if you type 8 hours a day, might as well be the best available keyboard. These are the words of Daniel Gurumura. Gurumura something like that. The creator of DOS keyboard. So is this the best available keyboard? As of this video, I think that's kind of debatable because of the amount of keyboard that is released in the market since then. The layout is standard, so this is great for those that wants to replace the keycaps in the future. There are media controls bound to the F key, so some of you may or may not like that. This is an enclosed design reminiscent of older keyboards, and I miss this look due to the oversaturation of floating key design. There's the DOS keyboard logo in the right corner, so some of you might be annoyed by that. It's fine for me though. The font on the keyboard looks very professional, hence the name. And I would say, you can certainly bring this keyboard to the office. No one would bat an eye. Then you start typing on it, and everyone loses their mind. This keyboard uses the good old Cherry MX Blue, like literally. The new MX Blue doesn't have this feel and sound. The sound is softer and the switch is lighter, which is awesome because that's what I like. I like to try out the optical blue switches and those are similar, but they don't have this level of tactility and they don't have this level of enjoyment. For me, I seriously think this is the keyboard for me, like personally. I don't care for RGB lighting and I would much rather have a keyboard that feels good and types well rather than something with flashy lights because I'm not a show off. But if you are, then this keyboard is definitely not for you. The way how this keyboard feels reminds me of the first time when I lay my hands on a mechanical keyboard. It was a Razer Blackwood Ultimate and this keyboard captures that feel and satisfaction with every single keystroke. Anyways, here's what the keyboard sounds like. This keyboard uses Co-Star stabilizers, which is not my preferred stabilizers because I have to deal with those metal wires when cleaning and taking out the long keycaps like. This keyboard overall is a complete pain to clean and it will look gross over time, but that's okay because that's how you know the keyboard has been loved. I think they use very high quality thin ABS keycaps because the type doesn't look like it's the kind of type that fades over time. It looks etched into the keycap and the keycap materials just looks like it's of a higher quality. I feel like these keycaps will last for the life of the keyboard. Then again, it does have a standard layout so if you really want to replace the keycaps, you certainly can. The flip up feet does not have rubber on them, so the keyboard will slip if you angle the keyboard. I don't think people will be doing that anyways with this keyboard, but if you do, then keep that in mind. There are two USB pass throughs, so that's nice, but make sure to have two USB ports available. The cable is thick rubber and USB tip is silver, so I think most people would like this over the braided stuff. So, by the time I post this video, I'm not sure if I post this keyboard in the past or not, but 
this is one of my heroes and people say you should never meet your hero and I say well maybe this is an exception because it opens my eyes to possibilities that are out there. I created this channel with the goal of doing keyboards in the beginning because I find them so fascinating and interesting. This keyboard and the IBM Model M are two keyboards that I have lusted after because after seeing them in videos and some of them are just some of the best keyboards out there. But that was a long time ago. By the time of this video, I would say I'm pretty seasoned when it comes to keyboards and still this is one of if not the best keyboards that I felt in a long time. So I've been going on and on and on about which keyboard should be my daily driver and I come to the conclusion that it should be the best feeling keyboard above all else. I think for the money this is worth it because this could possibly be the best feeling keyboard that I felt and could be the best keyboard that you felt if you're willing to give it a chance. Link is down below. Click subscribe, the bell, thumbs up for more content. You guys stay awesome.